Good morning, Lone Watchers. We're now on our sixth day, and our topic for today is about financial provision. So when it comes to spiritual provision, most Christ followers are quick to admit their provision comes from God. But when it comes to material provision, especially financial, many are quick to take the credit. It's common to hear believers boast about their material possessions, declaring to work hard and earn what we have. And while it might be true, they work hard, Scripture says what they have comes from God. As in 1 Corinthians 4, 7, For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast? as though you did not. The trouble with this thinking is they most likely look to their employer, clients, government, or investment fund as their provider. This thinking is limited and they'll miss out on one of the greatest promises in the Bible. God promises to be our abundant provider. As in Philippians 4.19, and my God shall supply all our need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And in Matthew chapter 6, verses 30 to 33, if God gives such attention to the appearance of white flowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think He'll attend to you? Take pride in you. Do His best for you. What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting, so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way He works fuss over these things. But you know both God and how He works. Steep your life in God's reality, God's initiative, God's provision. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. So here's my question to you. Who's your provider? Your employer, your clients, the government, your investment portfolio, or God? Here's why this is so important. Lose your job, a big client, your government benefits, or your savings, and you can easily feel devastated or wiped out. But when you look to God as your spiritual and financial provider, He never stops being your provider no matter what happens to your job, clients, or anything else. You can lose your job, but you didn't lose your financial provision. You can lose your biggest client, but you still didn't lose your greatest provider. You can lose all your government benefits, but the kingdom of God still provides. The stock market could crash, but your provider is still on the throne. The truth is, God is our provider. Amen. He is generous and it is His will to give us all of Himself. And more importantly, God wants us to trust Him for everything, both spiritual and material. You see, though God is our provider, we should focus on building our relationship with the giver instead of focusing on getting what we want when we want it. And one thing is for sure, it's impossible to be in God's will and not receive God's provision. God always provides no matter what, but God's promises come with a big if. If we do, He will provide. We must trust Him for His how and when. If God is our provider, what about seasons of want or lack? Most of us will experience these seasons and we can be walking right in His will when we do. This is when God doesn't give us what we want when we want it or when He allows what we have to be taken away from us. Though this season can be extremely painful and confusing, notice how you didn't die of starvation during the temporary season of luck. God still provides, just not to our level of one. He sometimes would withhold material provision for a season to grow us so we can trust Him and so He can trust us 
with both blessing and trials. And during these tough times, and despite our circumstances, we learn that God is in control and can make anything happen. When God takes all you have from you, it's only to make room for Him to fill us with everything He wants us to have. When He does this, He is dealing with our hearts and God builds a relationship with us first and out of the, that will come His full provision. There are about 6,000 promises in the Bible and God's word is His will. Don't forget about the ifs. Remember, this part of our life is very temporary and momentary compared to the eternal life we will have. When it's His will, He pays the bill. God is the one who directs our steps, so trust Him completely and step forward into your destiny. So continue to pray for our financial provision.